Hi, I'm Larry from CWC. Today I'm going to explain to you how to calibrate a pH controller with uh, pH buffer solutions. It's very important to have two solutions, um, a pH 7 and then either a pH 10, which I have here, or a pH 4. The millivolt output of a pH probe at pH 10 and pH 4 is identical, except the one is positive and the one is negative. So it doesn't matter which one that you use. In the example here, I'm going to use the 7 and then a 10. A tip I can offer is that you can mark or write the number of the buffer. So I'm going to put 7 on that cap and I'm going to put 10 on this cap. So that when you take the caps off, you don't get them confused and you don't contaminate the buffer solutions. Okay, first step is to calibrate pH 7. I'm going to open the bottle. I'm going to take the pH sensor out of the process. Best to give it a wipe with a tissue or paper cloth. Rinse the end with a little bit of the buffer. Give it a shake. Put it in the buffer solution. Okay, so with the probe in the pH 7 buffer, we move the cursor to probe, press enter, go to the calibrate menu, and what we do is we move the cursor to set P1. But before pressing enter, you can see that I have P1 set at 7, which is the zero point, and P2 set at 10, which is the slope point. And the top left hand corner of the screen is the current reading, which is reading 6.5. But I want to calibrate this to 7, so I press the enter. It says OK next to the, the P1 point, and then I move the cursor to save, and I save the value. I will remove the probe from the buffer 7. Ideally, rinse it in a bit of water, give it a shake or a dry. Rinse the probe with buffer 10 and then insert it in the 10 solution. I then go back into the calibration menu. But this time I move the cursor to set P2, which is 10, and I press enter, it says OK. Move the cursor to save and I save the value. Press enter. Now I escape. Because it's still in the 10 buffer, the reading should go to 10. There we go, as you can see, it's close enough to 10. I'll take the probe out, give it a rinse. I should rinse it with a bit of 7, but just for purposes of this demonstration, I'll pop it back into 7, and you'll see the reading drop back down to 7. And if it does, which it should, you will then, uh, then demonstrate that the controller is um, then perfectly in calibration. It'll take a bit of time to get down, but it will eventually reach 7.